Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Hump Day Hymns. If everything is work, we're trying some new, once again, trying some new technology. Uh, we are trying to stream on multiple platforms at the same time with multiple microphones and multiple cameras. It's a multiple, multiple, multiple uh, episode at once. So for those of you who uh, follow me on uh, Twitch, you're probably getting a notification right now and saying, what the heck is this? So this is how uh, my live stream career started. Um, when the pandemic hit, uh, so we're in the sanctuary of Trinity St. Andrews United Church in Renfrew, Ontario. Uh, we started live streaming our church service and I started doing th this on Wednesday. It, this is Hump Day Hymns. Uh, just a look at various, uh, various musics in here. Um, so yeah, we're, try we're trying this. So today my theme is 8787. What does that mean? Yes, it's a secret code for QAnon. No, um, it is the meter. So for any, anyone who's seen the, the bottom of most hymns in, in pretty much every hymn book I've ever seen, there, there are numbers. And in here, we're using 8787. That is the number of syllables in, in each line. So the idea being that you can use uh, the same tune for different sets of words or or, or vice versa. You can find a set of, of, of words. If you have the meter set, you can put a different tune to it. Now, people like to do this and, and switch, switch songs and whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just focusing on 8-7. Now, I, I should have thought of this theme on August 7th. That would have made way more sense and been much cooler than doing it on June Second, <laughs> sorry. So uh, the first song I'm going to do is uh, in the the Voices United uh, United Church hymn book. Uh, the hymn is called "My Life Flows On," but the tune is "How Can I Keep from Singing?" How can I keep from singing? That's seven. It's supposed to be eight. How can I keep? From... Oh well. Oh no. My. Uh, how can I keep from singing? Is the second line. The seven. Eight. Seven. Eight. Seven. I'm good at math. Once again, a hymn that's sort of based on a folk song. The next one is, uh, the first line of it is my favorite 
of uh, any hymn. It's As the Deer Pants for the Water, but w when I first looked at this title, I just saw As the Deer Pants, and I thought of a deer wearing pants, because what else would you think of? I don't know. comes from watching too many cartoons, as a, I'm sure, you know, all these huckleberry hounds and all these pants-wearing animals, so yes. <laughs> Dear pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. You alone may my spirit. I don't know if water, water, so my soul longs after you. See, A787, A7, A7. last verse. You're my friend and you are my brother, even though you are a king. I love you more than any other, so much more than any. So theoretically, you could do every one of the, these, these hymns with any of the other tunes. So, uh, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. See, there is a problem, is it's not necessarily a straight meter. So you do have to, uh, you know, fit the words accordingly. Now, the, the next tune I want to do is in a different hymn book. It's what we call our More Voices. It's, a, it's an updated hymn book. Um, and once again, this is the same. It's an 8787 pattern, but it's in a minor key. So, so once again, you, you, you would want the lyrics to have a, a different feel for, for that. But again, you could, put, you could have deer pants on this one. So this one's called Welcome Jesus, You Are Welcome. Again, would that work with the as the deer pants for the water? Yeah, it's not that bad actually, it gives it a different feel. Come, Jesus. 
I have demonstrated quite uh, graphically the problem with doing new tunes, in, especially in a, a congregational music setting, because nobody knows them. And not everyone in the congregation reads music. And I read music okay, and I messed it up. Um, so, so yeah, it takes a while to learn, learn new tunes, but hopefully, and that's why in, in I guess in, in the early stages of congregational singing, there were only like three or four tunes. So every hymn had the same da 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 uh, My friend Scott always likes to say, I, I can't remember the meter, I think it's 8-8, eight, eight, is, is green eggs and ham. I do not like green eggs and ham. So <laughs> anyway, so that's your model. So uh, I'm going to finish on the piano, and then I'm going to do, do a, a, a couple songs on the organ. Um, and so whenever possible on Hump Day Hymns, I, I do a Fanny Crosby song. Fanny Crosby is turned into my favorite uh, hymn writer. Uh, she was blind. She wrote like three billion hymns. She had, I think someone worked it out to basically a hymn and a half a day uh, she wrote in her adult lifetime. Um, uh, mo mostly just the words. Uh, and, uh, but a, a, lot of, a lot of these are the great old uh, gospel-y sounding things, so a lot of fun to play. So this is all the way my, sa all the way my Savior leads me. Eight. <laughs> Of organists uh, who love to play this kind of stuff on the organ. Um, you can do great things with uh, vibrato or tremolo, uh, get that old Hammond B3 Booker T in the MG. No, he used to B2. Anyways, get that great old organ sound. I'm just not as comfortable with that. So I like playing it on piano because you can do a lot, a lot of a lot of the runs and stuff. Once people know, so that's the great thing about being an accompanist. It, when people know the hymn, then the accompanist doesn't have to bash out the, the melody anymore. So it, if people know the, the melody, I can just be playing. gospel thing, isn't it?
was in the music. I, I had to play it that way. <coughs> so now we're going over the organ. And we'll do a few more. Uh, there will be uh, brief moments of uh, panic. I'd like to thank uh, Reverend James, who's the minister here, who has been forced because of pandemic <coughs> to be not only the minister, to be the technical director, televangelist, all sorts of other things. So our organ here is a what's called a combination organ. We do have some pipes and a blower, which you'll hear momentarily. There she goes. So we have some pipe sounds and some electronic sounds. So uh, I'm going to start with, so this, this is kind of a, a surprising number to, again, using this 8787 theme. Because um, this, is, this is a very old English folk song. Um, but it's in our hymn book as Christmas song. It's, uh, the tune is Green Sleeves. So, so we, we know it in, in our hymn book, it's a good Christmas song. What child is this? So it just takes me a minute here for those of you who haven't... Uh, whoops! It is so hard to be very subtle <laughs> and end up on the organ. I don't know what... Oh, that, there are some pedals kicked in. Um, so we'll try to make nice, supple sounds. Supple. All right.
So once again, I did the stupid thing. So it was playing the organ. I've been here at TSA for, I think, five, six years now. And it was sort of my second year here that I realized uh, I can't see the music anymore. The, uh, the organ, whatever this is called, music holder thing, stand, is a little further away than on the piano. And developing a hunchy posture <laughs> on the organ is a bad idea, because you're never going to be able to play the foot pedals very well. So, yeah. So I went with the simpler solution of buying glasses, <laughs> getting my eyes checked. And sure enough, I needed them. Um, so the next one, again, 8787. The tune here is called Beach Spring. It's used for many different hymns. Uh, this one it is in our hymn book. It's called Come and Find the Quiet Center. Um, again, this one has a, this, this one, even though it's the same meter, eight syllables, seven syllables, this one has a very different pulse. It, it, it's a... Uh so once again, oh, same, same number of syllables, same meter, but very different kind of feel. So let me change the, the little sound.
there. That was uh, the, the hymn tune name is Lauda Anima, um, but I think most people know it as Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. The, the, this was a, a different words. This is God whose love is reigning o'er us. Can't say over us because that would make it nine. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, a, that's another good one. So I'm going to finish with, I had, had to finish with this one um, because it's big and loud. And you got to finish big, right? And this is, this is a favorite. People like to sing it. Um, sopranos love it because the desk can't just rocks. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's the Ode to Joy from, from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony uh, with one little thing there. The, Beethoven does one bar that has like one less beat. And so people who are like real classical aficionados will hate this because it's made nice and square for us United Church people. Um, but it, it's just a great tune. And, and one of the things I love about it, Beethoven did so many amazing musical things in wacky keys and modulations and sonatas and going from the tonic to the mediant and then back to the tonic and then to the sub, that's crazy stuff. This, this you could play on an electric guitar. This has got three chords and the truth. <laughs> joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Hey, that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Um, once again, thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, I do this every Wednesday at 12.30 p.m. Um, I actually have plans for the next few weeks. Isn't that great? Usually it's, uh, it's uh, you know, see my pants. But no, next week I'm going to have uh, good friend Dave Rowett in. And we're just going to do some folk songs from the Rise Up Singing books. We have not decided yet, and that, that'll make it fun. Uh, I've also got a couple of, of the singers from our choir who's going to help out. And uh, hopefully uh, a guest. Uh, we're going to try and do a, kind of a request show with uh, with my friend Scott. So, you know, are there songs that you want to hear on the organ? Scott's the guy to do it. I'm not. So, yeah, I just haven't decided whether we'll do that on his new organ or, or make him come here. But anyways, so uh, enjoy. Joyful, joyful, we adore you. Thank you.